Oh my god, my heart is pumping. Oh, yes! Oh, my man's got to eat, eh? Good morning and welcome back to another episode. Yeah, welcome back, guys. <laughs> we are back to the location of one of our previous episodes and we are building a fish trap today. Yeah, we're going to build one in this bay, guys. And as we're speaking, I'm actually getting distracted. There's a heap of fish in here and there's a heap of sharks that are also in hunting. So that is a good sign. Uh, we do have sort of differing ideas about how exactly this fish trap should look. So it's going to be a little bit of trial and error, but fingers crossed we come up with something that works. Yeah, wish us luck. Yeah, we might need a bit of that. <laughs> Let's get straight into it, guys. There's a bit to this. Oh, Fran, these big surgeon fish. Fran, 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 Fran. That's what I got in one of the previous episodes, guys. Big unicorn fish. So, guys, these are the unicorn fish that drew us to this spot. These are the ones we got in one of the previous episodes. I've got a, a very fluky shot on one of them. Um, but we can't always rely on such a fluky shot. So that's why we're going to build a trap in here. And hopefully on the low tide, we'll be able to trap this school of fish along with the mullet and other things in here and uh, be able to pick them off. Those unicorns are a little bit wary today. So the tide we need to do this, guys, is a low tide. And today it coincides with the middle of the day. So like it is scorching hot. The sun's right above the head. Uh, which means it's going to be pretty hot work, but we'll be sort of wading around the shallows, moving rocks, and um, yeah, fingers crossed we can get it done in one day. And then on the low tide tomorrow, the fish trap might even be working by then. What did you see out there, Fran? It's uh, a bunch of sharks. They had a huge scar on its um, shoulder. Really? Yeah. Like another shark had bitten it, maybe? Yeah, maybe. That was weird. And then it had like a little remora trying to suck on it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I think the fact, Fran, that all the sharks are in here hunting with a dropping tide is a good sign that all the, the yeah. fish are in here as well, which yeah. is what we're after. See them? See these mullet? Oh. Mm. They're giving you a really good shot here. Yeah, they're right here. Oh. I thought you hit him. I think we both missed way too many times. Look at that. Not as sharp as they should be, eh? They're all curved. All right, so the area we're going to do is we've seen at an even lower tide, all this reef out here actually connects in almost. There's one little deep channel there. So if we can kind of lock this channel off, it means that this whole entire bay of fish will be sort of limited for their options to escape. They will be able to go out that way through the waves, but that's all right. If we block them here, we will be able to, Fran and I will be able to enter the water, scare them into the shallows to where Fran is. Bang, money shot. That's when we'll get them. We'll see how we go. All right, let's get into it. So through these like shallow rocky areas, there are a range of animals we really need to look out for. Some can kill you like in the blink of an eye, others can call you, cause you a heap of pain. So we're going to be looking out for things like stonefish, we're going to be looking out for moray eels, blue ring octopus, cone shells. Seen any of those things yet, Brent? No, the only dangerous thing is you at the moment. <laughs> this is really good for the bulging disc. <laughs> mm. What was that? Might be a moray eel under here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a do you see it, moray yeah, eel? It went this way. Watch your fingers under that rock. There's a bitey moray eel. Sorry mate, we're just relocating your home a little bit. Where did he go? This is a beer. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Are they all br brittle sea stars? Yeah. Oh, look at this little sea cucumber. Oh, it's a sea cucumber. Crazy looking bugger. <laughs> your thoughts on the morning's work, Fran? How's it looking? <laughs> So I think what I was thinking in the beginning, and I told Jack already, I think it's too big and the fish has got too much of an escape area. We'll see how it goes after a few low tides, but then we can change to your plan if this one doesn't work. So even when this trap's finished, guys, the fish will be able to escape out in the deeper water. But the whole idea is we'll come in from the deep side and usher them into the shallows, take the fish we need, and then the rest can go. But that's a really good sign, guys. This area is holding fish already, and there's a couple of other bonefish here as I speak. I've got high hopes for this, guys. The trap is sort of doing its job already, and it's not even finished.
cake shape now. The design is evolving as we go. Jeez, you got a big one there, Fran. Um, so we think we're going to keep blocking off this reef. And then we're going to have a little catchment area here. It's some huge bonefish. See them there? Chase them into the trap. Come, come with me, Fran. There's two really big bonies there. They're just approaching the wall. Oh, they've turned. They've turned. All right, one's made it over our wall. Two's made it over our wall. They've showed us the, the weakness in our wall, which is just here. We're gonna have to build that up a bit. And the bonies have escaped. That's a good sign though. They got a little bit caught for a brief moment. <laughs> We're gonna have to raise that wall up if we really want to catch them. Head of a urchin straight into my finger, the one hole in the glove. I need you to pull that Ouch. out. Ouch. Ouch. Get it? Oh, it's bleeding now, which is a good sign. It means that everything's out of there. Thank you. All right. I think that's close enough for now. So we're going to spook the fish up in here. There's a beautiful little channel for them. They're going to get in here, and before they know it, a, they're going to be cut off in here. And this is where we've got our chance to catch one of them. <laughs> good job. What do you reckon we do now? Looks pretty good. I'm keen to see it on a lower tide, see if it's working. Yeah. I think first of all, we need to go have a coconut and find some shade. All right, we're gonna have first crack at our fish trap here, guys. The tide isn't quite right. We're in an ideal world, we want it to be a bit lower, but we're just gonna give it a crack and then we'll be able to see where the fish are spooking out and if the idea works. I don't think it's gonna work. Ah, for <laughs> bloody negative Nancy here, doesn't reckon it's gonna work, but I've got high hopes. There's a couple of bigger tails out there of what I think are parrotfish, friends. So we're gonna walk out here, guys. It's showtime. Looks like a good spot to snipe one from up there. Oh, there's a crab. <laughs> so we're closing in on a big school of unicorn fish here. That's Fran over there and we're just closing in on them. We're not spooking them yet, we're just trying to like herd them towards the trap. Oh yeah, they're over there. You can see the tail coming up. If we keep walking towards this direction, they end up straight in the trap. Oh my god, my heart is pumping. <laughs> oh no, they're spooking. They're spooking towards you. Spooking this way. Oh, they're coming. Fran, this one, this, I've got this one in the trap now, Fran, eh? Oh, he's just gone over the top of that rock. Just went over the top. There's like a tiny bit too much water. Yep. Oh, there's lots of fish coming out through here, Fran. There's a shark behind me here who's hunting as well. Oh, there's a big, there's a couple of holes in this, this section here. We need to fill up. See that? You see these fish draining out? Bugger. There was some really nice surgeon fish and unicorn fish. There was, yeah. Can you see those parrots at all? Get ready with a spear with this parrot fish here. Let's, if he runs, I think we chase him. See that second rock? That one. Yeah, he's underneath that ledge on this side. Yeah, he's, he's, under, he's under there, Fran, get ready. Oh, oh. Yeah, there, 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 there. Bugger, he escaped. So in an ideal situation, this is the area here that we force them into. And then once they're in here, they're all ours. No good. So the tide's still too high, so the fish did actually escape all over here at the moment. The good news is the area is holding lots of fish. We did see lots of lots of fish, so that's great. And I think we're gonna, rather than sneaking up on the fish, I think we're really gonna go pretty fast and rush the fish, hoping to then spook them into the corner. We're gonna come back at a lower tide and see how we go. All right, what have we spotted this morning, Fran? All right, there's the unicorn fish that right at the corner of our trap. So we can't get a better chance to have a go at them. 
you probably won't understand me because I have the mouthpiece in, <laughs> but you won't understand me anyway with my accent. <laughs> All right, so these are the tails of the unicorn fish right on the edge of our trap. Once again, we're going to head down the beach a little bit and try spook them into the corner that they're already in. This is our chance, Fran. Oh my god! Oh, the mother's right here. Get closer, closer. Get closer. It's a big one. Where did it go? Oh, it's a big yellow lip, Fran. Big yellow lip. No. No way. But they're over there. No. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> they're coming back. Oh. How did I not get that one? I think we got to go for it. The tide is at its best point right now. Like this is our, our best shot. All right, duck has spotted right there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're right at the corner. Friend, they're all, they're all in the corner here. We should go fast now, ready? All right. Yeah, there was parrot fish and unicorn fish. So because it's not a very low tide today, we're getting them trapped into areas like this, but then they were just finding their way out, obviously, through there. So it was enough to slow them down. But for this trap to be really successful, we need to build it up higher or wait until it's a lower tide. <laughs> Jack just stepped on top of the moray, you didn't even see it. Beep! I'm gonna catch ya. I was kidding, I didn't want to spear you. I just wanted to show you to the viewers. I'll get your mallet if you want. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Look at this car. Look, look, look. See that? It's all the way around. Poor little guy. That wasn't successful. As the first, first trial wasn't too successful. There's too much water. Um, we are getting pretty desperate now, so we're going to go for a bit of explore and see what our options are. A plan B might be one of these sharks. There's a lot of them getting around, so we'll see if we can catch one of them as really as a last resort. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, well, well man's got to eat, eh? <laughs> the good news is we've got probably another half hour until the tide is perfect, so we do have sort of one last chance afterwards as well. I can't believe that scar. It's just a big scar, hey? Something big, something bigger must have big had a go at it. He wants to get caught, that one. <laughs> Sad enough. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're bit in half. I should have been more patient. Wondering whether we might have lost our chance there. I had a crack at, at his tail there, but they're a little bit spooked now. So we're just going to give them a minute and um, hopefully they forget about all that. We can have another crack at them. The little one is so cute. We're not getting that one, don't worry. No. No. I thought we had that first one was too big. I thought we had that one, bugger. I just let him slip, bugger. All right, we pretty quickly figure out that we can catch a shark or Jack can catch a shark. Mm -hmm. um, and lots of you actually have been suggesting it, but that's our backup plan. Yeah. Our, our best chance is right now, which is the bottom of low tide and our trap is coming all the way out of the water. So we'll give it one more go. And then if we are very desperate, we'll go for the shark. And the shark's on the menu. I'm not very happy about it. You're not it, too keen on it, are you? No. <laughs> it could be a backup plan. Yeah. yeah. You, you can see now, friend, you're dead right. This trap is, is all the way out of the water. So it's going to be far more effective now. 
Now's our best chance. Keen to give it one last go? Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> you check out on the rock. Sometimes there's mullet out there. Love the jumping crab. Let's check out on the rocks then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Bad luck. Oh. They're a bit gun shy after you've <laughs> thrown a couple of spears at them, I think. I think Jack has spotted something in the trap. What is it? What is it? Oh, yes! Look at that, friend. Big bonefish. Oh, he's huge. It's a huge bony friend. Oh, we're eating, friend. Yes, look at that for a shot. Nailed him. What the? I'm here wasting my time with mullets. How did that happen? Got distracted for one second. I thought it was a shark. Look at the size of this fish. Oh, straight through that. Another fluke, I suppose. <laughs> that was a bit of a long shot, but you're yeah. getting good with your spear. That was amazing. I'm getting uh, getting tuned in with the spear. That's a really good one. That's a big bony. That'd be easier to chew through the bone. Yeah, more meat on this guy. Yeah. That's awesome. Well done. Yes, friend. Oh, you can't leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as fluky as the unicorn out of the tree that day. <laughs> Alright, put him out of his um, out of his misery here. But it's a good long shot because he went all the way through. Yeah, that's a huge bony too. Yeah. Look at this cute little shark. The shark's coming in, eh? We're eating you next time. Yeah, <laughs> it was almost gonna have to be shark eating time. Look at that. That would have been a pretty coral. Just found this natural rock pool. It's perfect for a little dip. Smoking. Oh. Whoa. So to all the ladies and boyfriends that are watching, I just opened my online store and it's gonna have bikinis and everything is natural, organic, recycle, 10% of profit are gonna go to donations. So have a look, see if you like anything. Awesome. <laughs> How's the fire looking, Fran? Ready. So how do you think we should cook this big bony? I reckon straight on the fire. Straight on. He does have big scales, so you'll just cook in his scales on the fire, and then we can peel all that back. Yeah. And then navigate yeah. through his. I think it'd be easier bones. to get the bones. Yeah. Out of the way. Just pick it at it. Yeah. You reckon there's enough for him to lay like that? Yeah. Sounds good. Easy. He's a pretty big fish. Hold him up, friend. Big bony, eh? <laughs> Geez, it was good to get a bit of return after a hell of a lot of hard work going into that fish trap, hey Fran? I know, I think um, you guys couldn't see it, but there's a lot of sore back and hard work behind that trap there. I think building that trap will probably get put into like a time lapse of about three or four seconds, but because it was hours of hard work, so yeah. like I'm really glad we got a bit of return from it today. Thank God. You did a good job. It was looking like we might have to sort of rebuild the whole thing a little bit higher, but it's a, I think it's going to be a constant work in progress, eh, the trap? We can't rely on fluky shots every day. <laughs> no, that was a good shot. Thumb up for Jack's shot. Hello. What have you got there? 
Make it look like at least I did something today. <laughs> oh, you built a whole bloody fish trap yesterday. You've done well. I know, but I can't spear anything. <laughs> keep missing. You had a couple of go at the mullets, eh? <laughs> a bit more than a couple. <laughs> Let him cool down for a sec and then we'll get into him. Yeah. Uh, for anyone that missed the previous episode, guys, this here is a bone fish and they are quite appropriately named. They've got plenty of bones in them. Really interesting skeleton, don't they? There's just bones going every which way. Uh, we thought this was the best way to cook it that we'll be able to peel the meat off and navigate through the bones. Let's see how we go. Are you glad we're not eating shark? I'm so glad we're not eating shark. <laughs> yeah. Um, let us know how you feel about that because we had so many comments saying you guys should eat sharks. They're delicious and there's so many. Yeah, I'm curious to hear everyone's opinion. Obviously, the, the black tip reef sharks here are quite prevalent. There's plenty of them through the shallows as you guys have noticed. So yeah. let us know where you guys stand with the whole eating shark debate. Oh, nice. Can you do this bit? Nice flash. It does look nice, doesn't it? Yeah. There you go. I think, I'd, I think I've done all right there. Minus the fly. Oh, what? Hmm. I have actually. The meat is actually really tasty. Oh, yeah. You can see those bones all coming across there. Yeah. So they got this line of <laughs> curved um, bones that run 45 degrees off the main um, skeletal spine. I wonder if all these extra bones give the fish more power because these guys, the bonefish, are uh, sought after all around the world because they're so fast and so strong for their size. So I reckon those extra bones might have something to do with it. What do you reckon, marine biologist? <laughs> all right, we're gonna get stuck into peeling all the bones off. <laughs> But thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for watching the episode. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. There was a fair bit of um, physical labor that went into building that fish trap, but hopefully we've done most of the hard work now and in future episodes, we can kind of like reap the rewards of, of what we've done there. We'll keep yeah. working on it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. See you next Sunday. See you next Sunday. <laughs>